Well, the Markroth is 46 feet long. Uh, played today, uh, pretty high friction actually to the to the outside on both sides. So everyone kind of started a little further out, uh, and as the day went on, they eventually moved pretty far left. Uh, the lefties tried to stay left to get out of the righties' laydown area. Uh, the best way to attack it was kind of to stay stay right as far as you could. There was quite a bit of um, oil to the left of the right-handers, and they just kept playing that oil, and as it kept disappearing, they kept moving farther and farther in, and there was plenty of oil farther and farther in until the end of the block when they finally chewed it up too much. But definitely the way to attack the pattern uh, from the left is to stay out and Instead of uh, moving with your feet, you move with your ball. So you would shell down, you'd throw it harder, you would make adjustments so that you could stay in the same place uh, because you do not want to get right where the right-handers are because the right-handers have now chewed up the, the front part of the lane so your ball is going to uh, roll too early and roll out and not recover when you throw it to the left. So as a lefty, I just tried to stay as far left as I could and just make adjustments with speed and ball surface. Best way to approach it is uh, it's 46 feet, which is really long, but don't necessarily be intimidated by long oil. Uh, sometimes long oil doesn't mean anything. It depends on how much volume they put out, how thick it is, uh, as to whether or not the ball's actually going to hook. Because it could be really short oil, but if there's a lot of friction, or I mean, I'm sorry, a lot of volume, then you're going to see a lot of skid down lane, especially later as they carry down. On this, since there was not a lot of volume, especially to the outside, they were still able to see quite a bit of friction and therefore hook.